All right, so that has been cooking almost oh, five more minutes. That's going to go off. Um, eight seconds less. I'm going to now, uh, on the break, I washed out my um, my instant read thermometer so it didn't have the raw pork on it. That well, it wasn't raw, but it was under 160. So I'm going to take this. I'm going to put it into the medallion. So this is zooming up. Uh, 140. 50 and that will be 160 by the time we eat it. So I'm fine with uh, I'm fine with pulling something off at 150, 155, even a small little piece. It's not it's going to come up somewhat by the time we plate it up, by the time we eat into it, it's going to be totally fine. So we'll put this in the sink. And while that just sits there and hangs out, I'm actually going to turn it. Uh, no, I'm not going to turn it off because it was still a bit low. Uh, but Let's measure for our plate. So we already know the asparagus because we measured that out. So you get all of this asparagus. And I had one little extra one that we're going to give us because we've been good. So look at all that asparagus. See, that's what we say. Load up on vegetables, right? Load up on the vegetables. Look at all those yummy vegetables you get. Now potatoes, you get three ounces of these fingerling potatoes. So to measure those, excuse me, to weigh those, you get your little scale, you put a bowl on it, you zero it out. So, whoops, I gotta turn it on. I'm going to zero it out. And then you get three ounces of potatoes. And yes, I'm using my fingers because this plate is for me. Oops, oops, let's see, get a little red on it there. Okay, now I'm being crazy. Okay, that's about three ounces. So you get four potatoes, which is plenty of potatoes. Beautiful little potatoes. I love these fingerling potatoes. Potatoes. And now let's get our pork. Now the pork we're going to have to measure too. So I'm going to get my pan, take the lid off. Actually, you know what I think I'd like to do is I'm actually going to, this is such a beautiful plate, I'm actually going to plate this up first. Um, I'm going to take this off to the side. I'm actually going to plate this up because this is really beautiful to get a shot of this. If you were having company, this is how I would serve it. I would have kept the asparagus on the plate by the side. I'm going to get new tongs, because I don't know where those old ones were. And I would put your medallions on the plate. This is such a nice way to serve a pork tenderloin. So we're going to do two things right now. We're going to show you on the plate. And then we'll do our own individual plate. Now, I'm going to put this back on the stove for a second. I'm going to turn the heat up. And I'm going to add this little bit of butter, this one little itty bitty tablespoon of teaspoon of butter. And, and butter, lots of times, just finishes off the sauce so it's not so um, liquidy. It just really binds all the juices together. It makes a very nice finish to a sauce. Almost all French sauces are finished off with butter in the end. Um, and who's am I to argue with the French? So let's get every bit of that butter. And I'm just bringing all those nice juices of the pork together. The butter is going to bind the sauce. So that's what you want to see then. If it's, and it's just enough that, again, you didn't even need a tablespoon. I literally cut a teaspoon of butter off of the butter, you know, the stick of butter. You just need a little bit to pull it together. And that's also the trick about butter. What I've learned is you don't actually just, it only takes a little bit of butter to get the flavor. So you don't need all of the butter to get that buttery flavor. Just a little bit at the right time is all you need. So I've got this on medium high. And I want, I don't want it to dry out. I still want the liquid on it. And I think that's just about perfect. So you can see the bubbly, it's sort of thick. It's a little bit, and I'm going to take this. going to use my spatula. I'm not wasting any of that delicious sauce. So I've got the sauce. Now you could have done the sauce and laid it on the side, but we can just scoop it around so you can see the little medallions of pork. Get a little bit, and it's nice because it gives a beautiful little glaze to the top. So here's one that's not glazed. So obviously you want to get a little bit of glaze on the top of that. It gets all nice and shiny, which is beautiful. 
a beautiful dish. Okay. And if I was serving it, I would wipe that up and I would do a little bit of parsley on the side, and that would be our beautiful pork tenderloin. And I would do a little bit of pepper. Okay? Beautiful. All right, so let's plate though for what we get because we're watching our weight. So we've already weighed out our three ounces of our potatoes. We've got about our eight or four ounces of our asparagus. Now, I've got my scale. And so we only get three ounces of pork, so that might just be one medallion. Sorry to say, folks, that's what it is. But maybe not. Maybe we'll get a little bit more. So let's take this guy. Now, I'm going to brush off that sauce. Again, I wanted to show you two ways. Maybe a little bit messy. Let's see. Whoops. That's, th that's three and a quarter ounces. I'm not going to mess with it. So be it. So we have three and a quarter ounces of that, and you get a quarter cup of the sauce. Um, so this is a half a cup. So just do half of this. So I mess up our beautiful plate. But I just wanted you to see what you get. And just because we have, we're having, uh, just because it's thinner for ourselves, doesn't mean that it should look pretty for us too. Pork, and then let's do a little bit of lemon on this side. So this is delicious. Again, we've got our um, uh, our pork and our plum, our plum sauce and our fingling potatoes and our asparagus. And I'm going to taste this because I have to. Oh, I know why I'm so hot. I still have the stove on, on, on. Um, oh, and before I taste this, this is, um, because even though it's pork, I still have this nice citrusy plum. So I'm actually going to do a Sauvignon Blanc with this. And this is sort of my favorite wine in the summertime. And remember, when you match fruity with fruity, and you can do red if you want to, um, but I'm going to do a Sauvignon Blanc because I've got the, I love Sauvignon Blanc with the pork and the nice citrus. Mm. Yummy. Yummy wine. Let's taste the pork. So the pork is, you know, it's pink, but it's cooked. Get some of the, get some of the plum on there. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Yummy. You always, I always love a little bit of a sauce with the pork, but that's delicious. Um, apples for the fall, plum for the spring, just perfect. So again, my name is John Cleese, and please, you'll see below, it says to subscribe to um, uh, the Unexpected Guest channel. If you click on that, make sure that when you go to YouTube and you hover your cursor over it, you wait for the little pop-up and there's a little button in there that asks if you want to be notified when new videos come on. So hopefully you will. And every time we post a video, we usually post every Saturday or Sunday um, once a week and you'll get notified that there's new videos. So again, enjoy. Um, we come back to us again. We try to keep you on your diet, keep you at the weight you want to be. Um, or get to the weight you want to be. That's at least what I'm trying to do. All right. So again, my name is John Cleese. Enjoy and we'll see you soon.